Okay, I'm back now. So I'm gonna click P to go to the perspective viewport. I'm gonna hide uh, my car. So I'm gonna just uh, control invert and I'm gonna right click hide selection. Okay, so I'm gonna have just my car here or the proxy. I'm gonna give it uh, some animation. And before you do uh, any animation to your uh, car, you, you need to, to know what kind of uh, explosion you have. You want your, is, is the car gonna be moving enough that it's gonna explode? I think that's gonna be a better scenario. So that's the scenario that we're gonna, instead of just making the car still, I'm gonna make the car move and after that uh, reach, let's say some point, you're gonna explode. So I'm gonna go to the front viewport here or the perspective viewport, go to the left. I'm gonna click N and let's make this car, let's say, move 20 frames. So I'm gonna click W, move. So make sure that the real time is checked. So I'm gonna just check um, on my animation. Okay. I'm gonna right click on it, go to the curve editor. And I want it to be in a straight line. Oh, so basically linear. So I'm going to select both. Uh, okay, come on. Why is it not? Okay, I'm going to just change it manual. There we go. So now we get this animation. And let's at frame 30 here. That's where the explosion going to happen. So the car going to be basically hit with a bazooka or something with an RPG from the back and in that moment the car gonna flip over so here I'm gonna click N I'm gonna click W okay let's go with five frames like this and okay again go to the curve editor I'm gonna select just the rotation here. Okay. I want that rotation to start frame 30, so I'm gonna select uh, this one and set the time to 30. I'm gonna just frame my uh, animation here. I'm gonna select this key and this key too. I'm gonna make them kind of linear. Okay, so basically, that's what we get. Okay, so with that runs and boom. The car is driving and it explodes here. Okay. So now what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go to the Mass FX. I'm gonna right click, Mass FX toolbars. With my car selected, I'm gonna set uh, as kinematic. And I'm gonna set it until frame uh, 31. Okay, so that's the frame where the, you don't want it in the last one, but you want it in the middle so it can pick up uh, some of the, uh, the velocity of the car here, okay? You could just, uh, as you can see, this is the shape that uh, Mass Effect is going to take on. You could uh, have a uh, better shape if you change this one to concave. But so just let's try with this one first. We might, we might just get a nice result with this one here. So if I click play. Okay, the car seems like it flew too, uh, too far. So let's increase the mass here from, let's see what we got. Let's just add another zero here. And let's play. Okay. I'm gonna just move this one back further to 35 here. To just slow it down. Because I don't want it to fly too much. That was too slow. Try it now. Okay, that's good. I think I like that. So let's just increase our timeline here to uh, from instead of 100, we're gonna I'm gonna go to up to 300 here. So I'm gonna control and left drag here. Okay, 
Okay. I'm gonna just create a camera right here. Click C. So basically, the car gonna all right fly right here. And let's click play again to see it. Okay, nice. Again. Okay. We could actually go to the left viewport here. At frame 61 here, I'm going to give it a push to here. So I'm going to click N and just push forward to, okay? So instead of just going up, it's going to go up and go forward. So if I pl play again, I'm going to just increase my timeline. Play. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now I'm going to increase my timeline again. Let's go to 300. So now okay. I'm going to just uh, bake the keys for this one. Click bake. Okay. So now that's if I click C to look at the, the car. Nice. So the car is driving. Boom. Cool. Now I'm gonna just uh, delete this mess effects uh, rigged body here, and I'm gonna convert this into a poly. And now we have our keys. Cool. So now we're uh, done with our uh, initial animation. In the next video, what you're gonna do, we're gonna apply uh, the particles uh, uh, deformation to our uh, geometry, as I showed you in the last uh, weeks. Uh, so uh, see you guys in the next video.